Three Rivers Archery, your longbow and recurve experts. This is Nate Bailey with Barebow Hunters, and today we are going to go over some of the old wives' tales that people argue about on the internet about traditional archery all the time. Three Rivers Archery is sponsoring this whole thing. They sent me a pro chronograph, and if you guys want to see, get your own, um, you can get it at this link here. So what we're going to show is we're going to adjust arrows. We're going to go clear up from from 85 up to 300 and see how much it slows the uh, arrows down. So we're going to do that and we're going to see how much difference each individual arrow weight makes. Now the chronograph, it has what they call a shot string. So you could set it up so the 200 grain string will be number one shot string and then we'll go back through and review this after we shoot them. And it's super easy. You just have a, a switch on the side to turn it on. Once you turn it on, then string number one's ready. And all you gotta do is shoot through it. Um, I'm gonna shoot three arrows through it, and then we'll average the three arrows. Um, we're at that first string. This is the 650 grain arrow. So this is the 200 grain broadhead. And so what you do now is you go to review and it'll give you uh, the second shot is 140. The first shot's 144. And then it gives you the high, which is 144. Low, 140. And average is 141. Okay, so now we're gonna uh, change the string to number two. And then I've already shot through it, so I'm gonna delete that string. So number two, we're ready to go. All right, so this is this is the second string. These are 750 grain arrows out of this bow. This little bow is shooting the 750 grain arrows. Anyhow, uh, seven, that's a big arrow for this bow. 750 grain arrows, and then let's go ahead and review. And we'll go to the high was 135, the low was 132, and the average was 134. So that's with a 750 grain. My next arrows, I'm going to put a 150 uh, fill point on, and we're going to shoot those, and that'll be a 600 grain arrow. This is a one, uh, 150 uh, fill point and a 600 grain arrow. And our, our high is 150, low is 145. And so we're about 147. So it's changing. Um, we do have significant changes between the arrow weights. One of the things that I'm noticing too though, and one of the things that could be affecting arrow speed is I'm running out of tune on the bow. Um, if you guys noticed that last set of arrows hit the target a little sideways, well that's because the arrow isn't tuned. So we're gonna shoot the 125s next. We're doing this to show you the increments of how uh, much speed you gain or lose by just changing uh, you know, 50 grains of arrow weight. So let's see what we got now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and review it. Our high was 152, low was 150, and our average 151, which um, is really surprising because that's a 570 grain arrow. Mm -hmm. And this is a 56 inch bow. Um, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, that's right in there with a lot of the longer bows. This is 54 pounds at 26 inches. So it, it is the full 54 pounds at my draw. I draw 26 inches. We're gonna do one more test, and that's shooting a 400 grain arrow uh, through the bow. So we're gonna do one more test. Okay, string number five, 400 grain, trad only, um, 500s. So they're gonna be, uh, they might be a little light. One other thing is that these are shooting four trad veins. So I don't know if that's gonna make a difference or not. So it's lighter arrow. Did you guys hear that last arrow? It's lighter and it's kind of shocky. You can feel it. Blah. 
All right, so we're gonna go back through, review all of the different arrows, and remember that the number one, uh, string number one that I shot was my hunting arrow. So it's a 650 green arrow. So let's, let's take a look. And the average was 141. So my average for my hunting setup is 141 feet per second. Um, that's a 650 grain arrow. The next one was a 750 grain arrow, and that's number two here. And that's 134, 134. So the next string is a 600 grain arrow. We dropped, we dropped back down uh, to 50 grains from my hunting, so it was 150 grain fill point. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so this is a 600 grain arrow, 147 feet per second out of a 600 grain arrow out of a 54 pound bow. That's not bad, 54 pound at 26. That's not bad. The next one was, that was our 575 grain arrow. The average was 151 feet per second. Okay, and the last one, I took this arrow, which is a 400 grain arrow, the way I have it, I have a 100 grain field point, and it was a 300 grain shaft with everything on it. Um, now there are a couple things here that affect the speed. So I want you guys just to realize that, you know, this is, this is we're generalizing here. We're not, if I was to take these tests and, and do it any more scientific, I would have to get a shooting machine and make sure I was shooting exactly the same arrows and make sure the wind was exactly the same. But traditional archery is not that. So um, this is giving you a good idea. With, with a good carbon shaft and the bows the way they are and the strings the way they are nowadays, um, this stuff shoots really consistent, but with that said, this is a different arrow and it's not tuned for my bow. So it's a, it's a 400 grain arrow and we sure didn't notice that it was noisy. It was, <laughs> and there was more hand shock. It was, it was buzzing my hand. So, um, it, it, you know, there's a lot of energy tied up into all that. So let's take a look and see what it did. So 168 feet per second with a 400 grain arrow. Not bad. I'm Jonathan Karcher, Three Rivers Archery. Thank you for watching today. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Uh, if you really enjoyed it, hit the share button to share with your friends and family. And if you have any comments, please put them below and we'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.